What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Jeremy Wormy. We got an interesting little story for you today because uh, the Marvels, the Marvels was a disastrous movie, outright abysmal. Nobody actually came out and watched it. Nobody actually cared about it. Nobody actually engaged with it and is deemed the big one of the biggest flops for uh, Marvel history, one of the biggest flops of uh, 2023 for Disney. And it's between this or Indiana Jones. It's one of the two is one of the arguably which one is the bigger flop. But the Marvels was just a disaster. And even before it was coming out, you had Brie Larson coming out here, you know, in some of the press tours and events like that, you know, talking about how her time being Captain Marvel as the movie was like being made and stuff. You had this interview from uh, how long ago, 2022, in which the variety, uh, uh, a variety guy with a weird voice comes out and actually asks her, hey, well, do you want to keep being Captain Marvel? And she responded this way. How long will you play Captain Marvel for? I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone want me to do it again? Don't be so modest. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I don't have the answer to that. Where she doesn't know. She doesn't know, guys. She never. She doesn't know if she's going to be continuing being Captain Marvel. She doesn't know what's going to be going on here. Well, in the latest uh, event, because SAG, uh, SAG had their uh, wonderful uh, award ceremonies that absolutely nobody really pays attention to, Brie Larson was seen uh, not only sporting this very actually attractive dress, but she says this. Brie Larson says she doesn't have anything to say about her future with the Marvel after the Marvel's fizzled. That's right. After the Marvel's fizzled, after everything that's going on here she she blatantly says she doesn't know what's going on and you actually go to her comments on the red carpet where this comes from uh the extra right here and I'll, I'll just have this whole like scene play out because it is very unique very open about how she doesn't want to perform anymore just because of how nervous she, yeah she won't perform. Here, i'm gonna turn I, I have this uh speed is uh, way too turned up i'm gonna turn it back to normal because she just gets too nervous so she decided why put myself through this do you ever get nervous Oh, of course I get nervous. I get nervous all the time. It depends on what it is. Um, for the most part, I feel like the nerves are a way of just like understanding what you care about and what's mm -hmm. true. But then of course there are times when nervousness means that you're just and I know a lot of this is weird. They're talking about nerves and being nervous and stuff like that. But, the, the, you know, discussing all this, like, nervous banter on the red carpet and everything like that, it's important because it leads up into what this woman ends up asking her about the Marvels exactly. Like, this is not the right thing for me. Nervous about, uh, maybe this is not the right thing for me. You know, maybe this isn't the right thing for me, which leads this woman to say something very interesting. Oh, very that's quickly, very Marvel. Telling. That's yeah, quite I just know which is which. Can you tell us a little bit, bit about Marvel and what's coming up for you, your next Marvel project? I don't have anything to say about that. I don't have anything to say about that. Nothing about that. And then and I, I'm taking this in a very unique uh, way. I hear her say, hey, you know, because they were talking about being nervous, talking about all this stuff, you know, talking about things that you might not want to be engaged with or anything like more. And maybe this isn't the right thing for me. And then she gets up, uh, brings up Marvel. How, how about the Marvel? What, what, anything new coming up within Marvel itself? I don't have anything to say about that. I don't. And I don't blame her for not having anything to say about that. She was supposed to be this headline character. She was supposed to be this character that a lot of people were supposed to be getting around. They were going to start building the MCU around her to replace Robert Downey Jr., to replace uh, uh, Chris Evans, Captain Marvel, uh, Captain America, uh, Iron Man, to replace these characters. They were going to have Captain Marvel be that new thing, and it wasn't being accepted well. People realized that Brie Larson wasn't a very uh, likable person, wasn't a very likable character. Captain Marvel wasn't a likable individual. So when it, you had it come out that uh, Captain Marvel 2 was being renamed to the Marvels, they ended up putting more characters around her, more people around her. Now it's starting to come out that maybe she's not so interested in moving forward with the actual Marvel itself. Maybe she's stepping away from Marvel itself because uh, I don't blame her, especially when her last movie is deemed one of the biggest flops in Marvel history. So much so that uh, there's no saving this thing and it cost Marvel bill millions upon millions of dollars just with this alone but i'm gonna leave it there guys let me get you guys thoughts on all this down in the comments below do you think brie larson's gonna continue being captain marvel or do you think she's uh finally gonna start stepping away and uh be more like dakota johnson and realize that this stuff's just garbage and uh if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it up friends hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live and i'll see you all on the next one bye for now